What's up everyone out there in YouTube land? This is Perry Love Whistle. And I am back on Zayner. And this will be the episode where I make it to level 39. So if you are seeing this episode now, it means that I've made it to 39. And at some point over the course of this episode, I will memorize and cast Spirit of Wolf on myself. I can stop spending money on these Tendos blood of the wolf potions i also got a, a little bit of a tip from my private discord which is uh i i say private but it is open and there's a link to it in the description of all of my videos but uh it was a tip that i should probably explain what i'm doing a little bit more mainly because uh I usually feel like I am uh, the least experienced EverQuest player in the world, and, it, and I'm not. And on top of that, even people who have a lot of experience don't do the things that I do because I don't min-max. Um, the reason why I'm wearing all this green armor is because I like uh, the lore and quests a lot more than, uh, than just getting the best gear, which the best gear for a ranger doesn't look nearly as cool as all this green tent. So I need to explain a little bit more of what I'm doing and why I am in South Karana right now, not somewhere in Kunark, where I can probably get uh, a group and more efficient experience. So there's a couple of reasons why I'm in South Karana. And if if this was pre-Kunark, this would definitely be the place to be, and it would be packed. Right now, it's, it's pretty full. Um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of pe these people are grouping over by the... Uh, split paw spires but there's a lot of good stuff here and uh, a lot of good stuff for experience all the way up to like level 40 there's also um so like avos aviac ava sets are perfect for me right now they're pretty easy for me to just solo i can kill them pretty easily and, and there's also some names that drop different things let's see we've got a uh, nari morak let me see what he's up to actually we're gonna go kill him uh, and this is one of the reasons that i'm here there's random little names that spawn some of them have equipment that's better than some of the stuff i have and so decent experience the chance of getting random little items right now someone is camping quill main plus when i have a little bit of downtime i can kill lions and head up into North Karana and kill bears for some hides that are useful to me. And the fact that I'm a ranger means that I can uh, I can track and I can have a huge tracking range so these random things that pop up I can usually get a good shot at them. Sure hope that person over there isn't camping Nari because I'm about to kill him oh and he dropped it so dex 3 agility 3 my ivy etched bracer is dex 2 I'll lose a lot of um, AC but I'm gaining dex and agility I think that's worthwhile switch my hero bracers over because I like the way that looks better and now I have begun to replace my ivy etched which is my next uh, my next set of goals here so I will be running around killing some uh, killing some aviacs the north area in uh, in South Karana is really great for rangers because all this stuff just spawns randomly all over the place and uh, it's pretty much built for tracking. Everything's really far apart so it's you don't get ads very often and uh, and it's easy to just run over a hill, find stuff, and kill it. So I will do a little bit of leveling 
and I will check back in if anything interesting spawns or uh, or I get a whole bunch of experience and ding to 39. Another reason uh, why I'm staying in South Karana is these uh, split paw scrolls. Uh, they're lore, and a lot of times, because they're lore, they just get left out to rot. Um, and they are very useful to me for a couple of reasons. Number one, they're good for experience, which is you know what I'm looking for right now. Also, uh, they are, if you collect all four of them, there are two separate quests that use them. And one of them would result in the gem inlaid gauntlets, which would be a replacement for my ivy etched gauntlets. And the other would be um, an earring upgrade, which it's not a great earring, but it is definitely better than uh, the golden earring or star ruby earring that I currently have. And I'm definitely going to edit out me getting lost. All right, another random named spawn um, that I picked up on track, High Shaman Grissok, who drops a ruined totem staff, which is a, a not bad little two-hand blunt. Decent to give to a uh, beginner, either pure caster or maybe a, a level one cleric druid, something like that, because they uh, they could make some use of it, a little bit of uh, melee damage. It seems like only pure casters can use it. Of course, it doesn't matter because he is not uh, wielding it. Let's kill him anyway. He runned off. Well, never mind. Uh, he didn't have the staff anyway, and the other thing that he drops is a head for the monk headband quests. And there's a high-quality cat pelt. And I didn't even realize, in the short amount of time that I was playing, that I had managed to run all the way, just by killing things, run all the way down to the Aviac town, which used to be... Just one of the best places for probably late 20s, early 30s grouping. Because these, uh, there's no faction for AVX, which is which is kind of the ridiculous thing. Is there's no faction. You can kill all of them that you want to. And, uh, and then go sell <laughs> at the merchant up at the top there. Awesome, so this group is just leaving this uh, pile of null corpses. Which apparently, there's uh, some scrolls on some of them. Which, I haven't gotten any scrolls, I've just gotten some money. And it's not letting me loot any of them that actually have stuff on them. So, that's interesting. I'm going to try camping out and see what happens. There we go. Now I can actually pull them up. So, tan split, split paw skin. They are um, lore. And uh, you can turn them in one at a time. And by the way, you can... Uh, this is volume three. I did not realize that I was fluent in Knoll. But there's four of them. And if you get all four... You can turn them in for those uh, gym inlaid gauntlets. So I'm going to do some hunting around here and uh, see if I can't pick up a couple more scrolls. Did not realize that they were casters. Oh, 
It was because he has the dagger of dropping. Well, that might be uh, something worth holding on to for a little bit. There was a group hanging out uh, at the split paw spires killing gnolls, and they let me come by and loot loot any scrolls that drop. Uh, and then they ended up inviting me into their group. So I actually got a good half a bubble of experience. Not not terrible, but uh, not amazing. But most importantly, I got all four of the skins. <laughs> Plus I got this, uh, the non-lore uh, tanned split, split paw skin. Um, which, all of those have some... Uh, some cool text in them. I also got all of the uh, split paw drops. The split paw mask, belt. I got two belts, um, the tunic, and I'm actually wearing the gloves because the gloves are uh, dex, two, dex three, wisdom two, and the ivy etched gloves, while they're much higher AC, they're... Um, Fire and cold resist, which I don't really need. I don't think I need as much as I need dex. So, um, the gem inlaid gauntlet quest starts in the Crow's Tavern. Uh, Umvera de Cash is actually the original quest giver. I gotta be careful in here because. I know that there's people that end up not liking you if you do too many good quests. Indifferent, there's Crow himself. He's nice. Okay. Actually, there's no one up here. I've been... My bard is KOS to a couple people in here, so I, I'm not sure who who hates him. But I'm very Dikash. Hail him, and he says... Uh, he's got a library, but... If you're interested in something... Other than spell scrolls, we can talk. I am interested. Talks about how he keeps track of mystic tomes that enter this divine building, Crow's Tavern. I don't think Crow's Tavern is a divine building, but I may have something to offer. I have something to offer. <laughs> Uh, excellent. You have no idea how difficult it is to get good help these days. Do you think you'd have time to gather some information for me? I will gather some information. The Tesk Ball Knolls moved into Split Paw. We still know nothing of their origins. If you bring back four scrolls that the diviners speak of, I believe I can reward you well, he says. Excellent. So, uh, when you kill the Tesk Ball Knolls, they drop five tanned split paw skins. This one up here is not lore. Tesval, you discover the, from the archives the incantation to speed our transit to the new continent. Blah, blah, blah. So the Ishvomal is uh, sending out a message to for some, something. Um, there's some new spell to speed our transit. Probably Spirit of Wolf. Uh, and then these tan these other tan split paw skins are lore. They all have the same name, but different text. So here's volume one, the history of the Verish Mall, talking about how they are children of Brel Serilis. Volume two, uh, talking about how the Knolls grew, learned the way of the sword, etc. Volume three, Verishmal were ruled by the Ishvamal. Hard and stern rulers. The old tongue Ishva meant supreme and Mal meant ruler. So Ish the Ishvamal means supreme ruler in Null. That's pretty cool. And talking about uh, the different types of Nulls in Splitpaw. And Volume 4, talking about the Council of Nine. But a little bit of history of the Nulls there. 
give all of these to him and get Tesk Ball Compilation, which is all four of them combined into one book. And I'm going to take this to Freeport for the next part of the quest, and I'm going to destroy this. Well, it is now almost a week later than the last time I played and ran to Kanos. Um, I am on my way back to South Karana to get this last little bit of level 38 into 39. It is almost uh, playing overnight in quiet time. time. So um, the rest of this video is going to be quiet. Just to fill you guys in what I'm planning on doing after this, and I'll try and keep it updated with text on the screen, but I have a series of, uh, of zones that I need to run to to try and upgrade some of my equipment. I'm not going to spend a super long time trying to camp a bunch of rare spawns or anything. I'm just going to hop through and see what's up in a few different places, and I will uh, keep information up on the screen as to where I'm going, what I'm looking for, and what I'm hoping it drops. Uh, and then I will be ending my whole lap of the world in Greater Fate Arc. So the next time I stream, I will be in Greater Fate Arc, um, casting all of my level 39 buffs for anybody who needs them for the price of a bat wing. All right, this should be the kill. Ding, 39. We finally made it. And just as my spirit of wolf is fading, perfect timing. Oh, maybe not so perfect timing. All right, now let's try out all my new spells. First of all, uh, see how much better this healing spell is. About a half a bubble of health per cast, a significant improvement. My new skin, which puts my total AC at 709, and the first cast of Spirit of Wolf. Also, while I was killing, I managed to spawn Kroll Deer Thunderhoof, who may have an upgrade to my bow temporarily until I get my rain collar, and he also may have a uh, better quiver than the tailored quiver that I keep trying to make and failing. It's also a pretty easy kill, so let's see if he drops either of those for me. And there it is, there's a Thunderhoof Quiver, which is just a four-slot quiver right now, but after Valios, it is going to include Bow Haste. So the only quiver better than this is the uh, Fleeting Quiver, which I'll probably spend some time making later. Alright, uh, now I am running north and looking for grizzly bears in North Karana because I still need a new uh, Leatherman Raider skull cap. So these are going to have grizzly bear skins for that. Not to be confused with the thick grizzly bear skin, which is useless. The grizzly bear skin is what we need 
for the Ra Leatherfoot Raider Skullcap. All right, uh, now I'm going to continue my adventure west because there is a uh, mob in Irud's Crossing and a couple in Kara Isle that might have upgrades for me. So first, the one in Irud's Crossing is an erudite madman who spawns on the island who drops a couple of earrings with resists on them. Of course, it is no longer any secret that Irud's Crossing is a great leveling place for the teens. So there's a very good chance that there's somebody already here camping that spawn. And even if there wasn't, there's not a very great chance that he'd even be up. And not only is he not up, but it looks like we've got a magician and a druid in here. Uh, they're probably they're probably killing him. So I guess we'll just continue to Kara Isle. All right, Lord Gongo is up. He might have a mask that isn't really an upgrade to the have. Uh, but he drops leggings that would be an upgrade as far as useful stats for a ranger go. And even though he is green, I'm not going to take any chances in here because I'm bound really far away. And of course, he only drops the mask. That's all right. I'll make use of that. And also, even though it's no longer an upgrade for me, Karen Tiger Spahi is carrying his whip. So I'm going to kill him real quick and get this whip. Yep. Nice. Feet like cat proc. I'll probably pass that on to my paladin. All right, now for the uh, Jim and Laid Gauntlets quest, I'm in Freeport now, and Jaren Felkis is the person who needs the bound split paw tome, and he gives you the paw book, which has a different text in it, and uh, it's more just communication between uh, the Ishva Mall and the different Null factions. And also, while I was running back west, I managed to pick up my first piece of Tolan's, Tolan's Darkwood Helm. Uh, it doesn't have the stats on it, but the stats are just Wisdom and Disease Resist on my Ivy Etched Helm. And the Superior Camouflage I can't cast until level 45 anyway, but it's a huge AC upgrade, and I think it looks cooler. So first piece of Tolan's, we're placing another piece of Ivy. And we are well on our way to improving our gear. I'm going to take the paw book back to Umvera de Cash in Kanos, and he gives us a note and tells us to go see Durkis Battlemore in Butcher Block Mountains, which is perfect because I am planning on heading there while I'm filming the next episode. Back in South Karana, uh, Groy Gutblade managed to randomly spawn while I was in this area killing. Uh, I've already got the weight reducing bag that he drops, but another one would be an upgrade over one of my weight reducing bags. There's also a very slim chance that he could drop a ring that I could sell for a couple hundred platinum. Of course, 
He doesn't have the common backpack, but he does have the Ring of Shadows. I'll see if I can make some money off that. And before I'm done, in South Karan, I managed to help somebody spawn Quillmane. We actually got him to spawn five times in 40 minutes. Uh, and every single time he spawned in the north spawn. So if you're looking for Quillmane, see if you can get the help of a ranger to hang out at the north spawn for you. Plus he's level 30, so I actually got decent experience off of him. He never dropped the cloak. But uh, I was actually hunting Quillmane for experience. So that is the that is the pinnacle of my South Karana adventure. That is it for this episode, guys. I finally made it to level 39. I can cast Spirit of Wolf on myself and levitate. And I think it is about time for me to take a break from the leveling grind. So my next stream, which should be next Monday at noon, I will be streaming from Greater Fate Arc, just casting Spirit of Wolf and my level 39 Ranger buffs for free. So if you're going to be there, make a new character and I'll power level you. But I will see you then. Bye. <laughs>